The Organization of Cells, Tissues, Organs and Systems by kscience.com. These are epithelial cells, whereby if these epithelial cells work together, they form a tissue. So a group of smaller cells that work together to carry out a function is called a tissue. So remember, a tissue is a group of cells that carries out a function. So I'm now drawing many epithelial cells together. This forms epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is tissue that covers parts of the body. These here are muscle cells, individual muscle cells. And when there is a collection of muscle cells, that forms muscle tissue. Muscle cells work as muscle tissue and they act to contract and relax and move whatever they are attached to. So remember, when muscle tissue contracts, it moves whatever it is attached to. These are glandular cells, and when glandular cells form a collection of glandular cells, they form a glandular tissue, which has a function. So glandular tissue makes and secretes hormones and enzymes. We're now going to look at how these three tissues work together to form an organ, in this case, the stomach. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Each of these cells are epithelial cells, and a collection of epithelial cells is called epithelial tissue. So what we've got here is epithelial tissue. Each of these cells is a muscle cell. A collection of muscle cells is called muscle tissue. So what we have here is muscle tissue. Each of these cells are glandular cells. Together, they form glandular tissue. These three tissues work together to form an organ. And we're now going to look at how they form the stomach. What I've drawn here is the muscle tissue. This is the muscle tissue that forms the wall of the stomach. The muscle tissue of the stomach contracts and relaxes continuously so that it churns the food to digest it. Covering the muscle tissue is the epithelial tissue. So the epithelial tissue covers both the inside and the outside of the stomach muscle. And the epithelial tissue on the inside acts to protect the other tissue of the stomach from the hydrochloric acid, which could damage your tissue. The stomach also contains glandular tissue. So the glandular tissue produces digestive enzymes and digestive juices. These digestive juices and digestive enzymes are released into the stomach to help digest food. The stomach is one example of a organ within the digestive system. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the organs of a digestive system include the stomach, the liver, the small intestine, the large intestine, the gallbladder, the pancreas, and the salivary glands. These are all examples of organs that form a larger system, in this case, the digestive system. Other organ systems include the circulatory system, the respiratory system, and the nervous system, all of which are explained in other videos at kscience.com. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.